bad. The box is okay. All right, first day making YouTube videos. Boy's gonna get hit over the head with a shovel here in about two seconds. All right, first day making YouTube videos. My first objective is to ask my employees if they think anybody's gonna see this camera on my head. They're probably gonna be weirded out. Well, today we're at Rural Route 1 Popcorn in Livingston, Wisconsin. Putting some more clean stone around the buildings just for water drainage and so we don't have to trim when we mow. Just kind of fills in all the areas. Why do you keep driving in the same spot? I don't know. You plow them? Try to drive in a different spot, otherwise you're going to have a trail through there we'll have to fix. How's it going? Okay. I'll go see how things are looking. Holly's pretty new on the loader. Doesn't like being watched. The rest of it that we did yesterday looked good. Yeah, there's a few spots we'll have to straighten out, but yeah, it's pretty close. So. Looks like you guys just keep going right around here, yeah, probably. So. Okay. I'm go all the way to that corner. Or just worry about. Wherever it's low, like here, you can tell there's not a lot of rock there. Mm -hmm. So let's fill all that in and anywhere else where it's low, getting better on this thing. Little. Yep. I just can't watch you. <laughs> exactly. Okay. <laughs> all right, sounds good. Well, I'm back at my shop here in Stitzer. I got a guy coming to give me an estimate on my mishap that I had last week. So check this out. I tipped our quad axle Mac over. So hood's all messed up, cab's pushed in pretty bad. The box is okay. Pretty sure the frame's all right. Doesn't look twisted. Um, we flipped it back over and I drove it back here. Runs great. No major oil leaks or anything. So this does not look good. It's all busted off that side of the hinge and I really don't think this cab is savable as the whole uh, this whole driver's area is pushed in but cross our fingers I'd like to keep this truck hopefully get her fixed up and get her back on the road yeah I'm just gonna pull in here and check on Mike and Hunter we're building a retaining wall here in Mineral Point see how they're doing oh yeah we're a good blow job there looking pretty good oh, yeah. can't tell there's a camera on my head can you I was hoping you wouldn't notice it so you guys got the downspouts in that looks nice fancy fancy this one up here you could go up a couple more rows you know you want to shooting out on the you know where the grade's gonna be, the grass, so. You gonna have enough blocks? The all the blocks we have is right here. You want me to go get four more pallets? We only have one more full pallet left to this one. Holly and Aiden are gonna be a while, but Tech should be over here. Yeah, I just had, just had to send him that. Here. Okay, he should be here pretty soon. These corner blocks are all <laughs> up. They're grinding yeah, them all. Like quarter inch difference on all of them. Well, as long as you're grinding them and making them right. They're special ordered for these exact blocks. They should be right, but what the hell is going on? Looks good, though. Is it muggy today, or is it just the smoke, or what? Jacob, you should have heard him yesterday. <laughs> he dying all day? <laughs> I, need to get, I need to go to the gas station and get the gator ready to clear my throat. Oh. Well, he doesn't rip on that vape all day, though. Yeah. Them, get, him, now. get him some purple cherry grape yep. vape all right well looks good i'm gonna go check on jacob 
see how he's doing. One load of clean and four pallets block. Got it. All right, thanks. Yep. six yards of screen dirt so I'm gonna unhook that trailer our screen dirt piles under the tarp start the old Kenworth up smells like a dead mouse in there so that's good news that means somebody left food in there And there's a mouse in there. The guys leave food and garbage and all kinds of stuff and all the trucks and equipment. And then next thing you know, we got mice coming in there. And Pick that up, I gotta haul one load out. Don't take the whole thing off because it's gonna rain. Yeah, there's a frog. For some nice dirt. Yeah, thank you. What are you guys doing? Uh, Fixing up the plants and stuff. Oh, planter beds. Yeah, Okay. Now it'll grow good in this stuff. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Yep. I bought this truck two or three years ago. I think it's closer to three years now, but uh, this was a big step in my business. I had had some junkier dump trucks and uh, had an old Kodiak and that thing was a pile of <laughs> This thing popped up on Marketplace and it's an 06 Kenworth. It used to be an over the road tractor. Somebody made it into a single axle dump truck. It's not done perfectly. There's a few things I would change but I only paid 24,000 bucks for this truck and we have not done anything major to this at all other than maintenance and this truck's always hauling always hauling the smaller loads and then I bought that uh, pinnel trailer so we can move our equipment around with it I mean for 24,000 bucks I don't know what else you'd buy that uh, would be like this been a great truck I love it drives nice it's got AC smells like dead mice it's really nice all right back to the shop we are going to pull this thing right inside so somebody can clean this god thing out it's also been getting a little warm I don't know if it's low on cool coolant or what Alrighty. 
that. Just pulling into the office. Looks like Mom and Derek are here. Go we'll see how these guys are doing. Uh, I really need to scrape that sticker off. Derek's making fun of me because I'm got a camera strapped to my head today. You got something on your head? Yeah, there's something on my head. I barely notice it. Everybody keeps looking at me. Derek. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Alright, let's go check on these clowns, minions. One, two, three, four, five people. They're all working. Livingston all looks good. Good job. You're the master mini loader now. Yeah. Master mini loader operator. Aiden and Tech get down here and start putting more blocks up. From this one? We won't have enough to finish. Yeah. We won't? No. Okay. There's gotta be enough. There's about 10 down here. Well, 10 is only gonna get us one. How many is there? I understand. I'm. Can we count those? We got something going on right here. Yeah, that's just the, yeah. Okay, we'll stop and take it out or something. I don't know. Well, there's one right by Mike's belly to the right there, that one. Yeah. You guys should have stopped. All this... right, we'll just take it all down. Well, I'm just saying that this one here is up the whole system. I don't didn't know if you wanted us grinding for hours on end. No, but in this 20 foot span, there's only one. It's right there. And there's none right here. So, tech, start pushing all this gravel back off. No, Ted, we gotta go down like probably 10 rows. I think we probably should just take it down and then. Well, if you would have walked down here and looked at it today, don't get mad at me. Don't give me attitude. Right, right here, these these three got to come out. Actually, it's just these two. Grind this, or do you want to replace it? Well, we have to grind it. We have, we have extra. Okay, Hunter, come here. Hunter, oh, come here. here. Boy's gonna get hit over the head with a shovel here in about two seconds. Okay, well, there's no point in getting all mad. Aiden, come down here. Hunter needs to grind the top of this one. So, this one, this one, and this one need to go off. We fired since you got here. I need a battery. Yeah, that's good. That's all? Yeah. So, these two gotta come off. And then you gotta clean all the rock off the top of them. putting them back on this row. Just make sure they're cleaned off and don't have shit on the bottom of them or we'll be f***ed up again. Now the wall is 10 billion to 12 billion dollars if I do it. If these guys do it, it'll end up costing 200 <laughs> billion dollars. <laughs> Thank you for holding the shun. Hey, this is Caleb with Pagel Services calling you again. Hey. You got any employees that don't know how to measure? Yeah, I, a couple. I got some here that are driving me nuts. Okay, they need how much more you need? Same thing you brought last time. Okay, sounds so, good, we'll send it up. Appreciate it, thank you very much. All right, thanks. Yep, Bye. So, yeah said they'd need five or six yards now they need another five or six yards so 
I'm gonna have to teach him a little better calculating method or something here. But uh, I'm just pulling up on the job site now, so go see how this is going. There is one, two, three, four people here. And I usually don't like having four or five people on a job because there always ends up being one or two people not working. So let's go organize this mess and see if we can get this wall done today. All right, back on the job. Hopefully things are going a little better than they were yesterday. Looking good. <laughs> How's it going, Joe? Perfect. Yeah. That's Joe, he's had a long care. You guys go up one more, you must have. You know. That one out a little bit. Yeah, that one. Okay. Otherwise, yeah, that's where it was yesterday. Yeah, that grade's not too bad now. Hunter in a better mood today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, that's not it. Why? It's Hunter. I'm gonna put him back on the mowing crew. You like mowing better? Oh yeah. So what do we got left? You get the rest of that rock in there? and then uh, start cleaning up. I would get some of this rock out of the dirt and then just spread the dirt around. Yeah. All right, I had to leave that job in a hurry. Um, I wrecked that Mack dump truck, so we're behind on dirt deliveries. And uh, one of my buddies, just called and said a couple of his dump trucks are freed up so I got to race back move the excavator out to my dirt pile and get those trucks loaded up and get some dirt deliveries done today so I really wasn't planning on that but I don't want to get too far behind on deliveries so I got to get my ass in here and go move that excavator quick chains legally I need one over the boom but we're only going five miles Get, bruh. 
So I ended up sending Derek back over to this job in Mineral Point. Here are the after shots. Here's a couple before shots. And I'm pretty proud. Pretty proud of my crew on how this turned out. And uh, the customers were super happy. Now, good afternoon. It is Sunday. And uh, I don't have my kids. Figured I might as well go work for a couple hours. Um, one of my guys was having trouble with a track machine last Thursday. So I'm running down to Prairie to Sheen right now to grab that. See what's going on. I don't really want to try and fix it on the job site. So I brought the trailer. So I might just uh, bring it back to the shop and have my mechanic look at it on Monday. But yeah, let's go down there and see what it looks like. First thing you always want to check is check your oil and see what's going on there. If I had to guess, oil's good. If I had to guess, I'm betting the air filter is plugged or the fuel filter is. But. Coolant is full, but it's extremely, extremely dirty. That's not good. So I'm going to start it up, put the boom up, and uh, check the air filter. Okay. Well, it needs a coolant flush, no matter what. Let's start this thing out, see if it wants to run today. probably five years and honestly we haven't had any huge major issues with it so I can't really complain yeah it's definitely lacking power and missing like crazy so I'm just gonna load it up there's no point in trying to fix it here so I have a lot of trailers with a lot of chains a lot of straps one thing I did with every trailer was painted all the chains and binders one color. So if I see a green binder or green chain in one of the other trailers, I know somebody took it and that's not where it's supposed to be. And I know to some of you it may sound stupid, but any of you that have 10 to 20 or more employees, I guarantee you know what I'm talking about. All right, easy as that. Four chains, four binders, ready to rock. So we'll be down here next week we'll get some footage of all this going on we got to fix this road haul in a bunch of gravel fix a bunch of these sites up so that'd be a decent sized project so let's get this track machine back get her checked out All right, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure to join us on the next one. We'll be back down here in Prairie Sheen, and we will get all the landscaping done, 
and all the gravel driveways installed. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.